Hey everybody, this is Matt from Murphy Mobile Homes. Today we're going to take a look at a tiny house. It's called the Malibu. It's made by Franklin Homes, same manufacturer as the Tripwide, so you know the quality's there. This one has a hardy siding with metal roof, beautiful white color. Good thing about the hardy, if you're not a big fan of white, or maybe a couple years down the road you want to change it. It is pretty easy to paint and it's very durable. Uh, even in high winds or, you know, under Texas, pretty dry, you get some debris, dust and all that. It, it's going to withstand all that. It's not going to dry out in the sun. It's good quality stuff. This house here, with it being a tiny house, of course, you're looking at 399 square feet. But you are, it's labeled as a, uh, it's like an RV, so your permits and zoning restrictions and foundation, you really don't have to have any unless you just want it. But it can still be properly tied down just like anything else. Uh, still pulled on a tongue. Those get removed and come back off. It's a beautiful house. Kind of had the batten strips on it. Uh, Really cool layout. Let me know what you think about the color. I like the white personally. But as you can see, I mean, white does sometimes show a little dirt. But again, like I said, this hardy board is really easy to clean, really easy to paint. Built on porch. You're looking at about 14 by 42. For size wise, sorry, we're right here off the interstate, so it's a little noisy. Some lights underneath the porch. All right, let's take a look inside. This is the tiny house. Full tape and texture. You've got the vaulted ceiling, so the ceiling's pretty tall. There's your AC there. Of course, you've got the hardwood floors in these. Needs a good mopping, but. So this be kind of living room space here. What's really cool about this one, you know, obviously your natural lighting, you got a ton of it. And then you got a really nice kitchen, too. These are wood cabinets and these are actually granite countertops. Appliances do come with it. I'll show you under space, comes with some paint. Soft clothes cabinets and drawers. <clears throat> Oven microwave does come with it as well. There is a fridge. You see how close we are to the interstate here. Sometimes you get some people walking up and down the street. So we did lose a refrigerator, but once it's sold, we will replace the refrigerator. Uh, it's just we don't want to put another one out here for someone else to steal until it gets to where it's going. You know if that makes sense, and I surely you understand. Uh, you got pretty good cabinet space here. Shelves are down there, but you know, there's adjustable shelf holes, so pantry space, all that good. Some more cabinet space up here. <clears throat> and then this one's got a really nice bathroom. Uh, you got granite in here as well. It even comes up on your backsplash too. You know, of course, a mirror. Hello. Uh, nice little light fixtures. Look at this tile shower, though. And if you notice, one thing that Franklin always does is they do the tile flooring in the showers. Very few uh, manufacturers will do that. And they even run the tile all the way up, too. So this is super nice shower here. No tub. 
399 square feet, you gotta kind of be conscious of uh, the space that you use. All right, let's go to the bedroom. The bedroom on this one's actually pretty good size. If you're familiar with tiny houses, all, all tiny houses are gonna be under 400 square feet, so <clears throat> you gotta just kind of adjust the space accordingly. Now this one's a little bit tighter on space in your living room area, but your bedroom space is actually really good. And then of course you got nice little built-ins here. So if you can tell, there's a cable, that's where your cable outlets come in. So you mount the TV there, perhaps put a bed here. And you got some drawers. Some drawers, there's a handle for them. Just noticed that these didn't have the handles on there. I was wondering why it's so hard to open. Got nice drawers there. And these closets. I'm going to better look. Closet space. And then there's more closet than my wife lets me have in my house. And then you got up stores up there. And these come with LED lights. So. Light's gonna last a pretty long time. Show you something else that's really cool in here. <clears throat> it's the way the air circulation works. So if you notice, there's no traditional air vents in your ceiling, in your floor. <clears throat> Pardon me, I got a little tickle in my throat. Uh, so you have this vent up here. It's really neat how this works out. I showed you the air vent at the beginning. I'll walk over and show you again. So this is what circulates air. It ties to a unit that's mounted onto the back. So you have these things right here. Now, typically these would just be kind of uh, return air vents, but if you notice, there's little switches on them. It's because they have motors in them and what they do is they pull air out of here and push it into your room and so that's what circulates the air to give you you know AC and all that so you don't have to have extra duct work you don't have to have the extra duct work running through your ceiling uh, so you can have your vents and all you know so you can have the taller ceilings basically but they just come out on the other side to push air in seen those before uh, man they really make your electric bill practically nothing of course they got the low E thermal pane windows you got tons of natural lighting and these thermal pane windows are nice too they fold up uh, let me see if I can do this with the phone in my hand you can tell here so thermal pane windows fold out Make it really easy to clean. And by the looks of it, we do need to clean this one. Looks like a bird got a hold of it. That's okay. Well, they make them so easy to clean for. Down, hold up, good to go. So, tell me what you think. Is this something that you could see yourself living in? Or, I will say, you know, I've sold several tiny houses in my day and believe it or not the number one purpose for people buying a tiny house that i've seen is in-laws mother-in-laws father-in-laws or your your parents i guess it doesn't matter how to have to be the in-law part of it. it could be just your parents but you know especially in a time like this whenever you're you know you don't want to have to go into assisted living facilities necessarily these really make excellent alternative and due to their zoning you can set them up anywhere you could tie them into your own sewage or electricity because they don't take a lot to run there's not a lot of plumbing so you could park one of these you know depending on the size of your property if you have an acre or two you could park this on the back side of the house and you know your in-laws or your parents or grandparents or whoever that instead of you know they can still be independent in their own space but still have you nearby if they need some assistance uh, or these also make great 
uh, vacation properties. And, you know, if you really want to make money off of them, Airbnb, VRBO, these little weekend cabin rentals on the lake. Man, I, I've seen some people rack up money on these things. Uh, we've sold, we sold, uh, we had a guy come in, about eight of them, put them on a lake out here in Shreveport, Louisiana, uh, out here on Caddo Lake. They had eight lots. Of, they just came in and bought a bunch of them and they set them up kind of changed they're all pretty similar change the colors out uh but that's what they do they do airbnbs and you know rent them out for 100 bucks a night or whatever and you know if you're coming in town no matter what the circumstance is this versus a a night at the hotel is often far better uh so you know if you were looking to make some investment ideas let me know these are fully custom this one's by franklin franklin doesn't do many tiny houses we also carry platinum cottages out of texas they're your full custom ones but uh let me know what you think i really appreciate everybody and uh if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll try to do my best to, to respond as many as i can thanks guys and uh, i'll catch you next time